Hi, I'm just going to show you how to open up a Premiere Pro project with the new Creative Cloud version. So if I jump over here to my dock and find Premiere Pro, there it is, click it open, the splash screen opens up, and depending on how fast your computer is, it does take a little while sometimes with slower computers, it's a pretty powerful program. Generally the first thing you do is go to new project, but if you're working on a project already that exists, it, it appears here as one of the recent items. I'm just going to jump now to a new project. Now this window here, it's a lot easier than it actually looks. What, what you can do is just quickly name your project, I'm just going to call mine test, and it is important to hit the browse button and go searching for, or actually creating, a new directory for this project, a new folder, some a folder like a project folder where you're going to be containing all of your assets for the video. Now what I tend to do is encourage people to go in the Mac side to go straight to the movie section, there's a similar section on the Windows as well. And if you go to maybe a folder that relates to the year that you're working on or the month you're working on, or it can just, just be the project if you haven't got too many projects there. I'm just going to jump into this year and I'm going to go into a new folder. I'm going to call this one test and then click create. And so when I click choose, I've now got the path or the directory that this project will be saved into. Now you don't have to worry about creating scratch disks and render file disks and all that sort of stuff because that all happens automatically. If you notice on the scratch disk tab, everything there is pointing to same as project. In other words, the folder that you've just created, which is makes things really easy. You don't have to worry about any of these other things here really at all. Uh, in fact, the only one that you might want to worry about is this capture section. This is only if you're still in the habit of using an old fashioned way of, of capturing video by plugging in your camera and working with tape footage, like when you had FireWire connected to your computer and you were capturing via FireWire going basically from analog to digital, then you'd need to sort of convert to whatever your camera type is at that time. But most people don't use that anymore. Generally now it's all done on cards and chips. Generally now it's all digital. So you can just click OK and then your Premiere Pro environment is open and ready to start working with.